Hey guys, the objective of today's video is to go through the derivation for circular slip and I'll be looking at both the undrain and drain case as well as the effect of tension crack and water table on our analysis. So here we have a slope experiencing rotational slip which, is, which we have assumed to be circular. So we've set a center here and this center acts as a center for this, I guess you could call it a circle. And the distance from the center to the slip surface here is a radius r. Now along the slip surface there are shear stresses which are experienced and this resists the rotational movement of this soil element. We also have a water table here and this water table has um, caused hydrostatic pressures to act on the the front of the soil element here which is represented by these pressures here and these pressures can be simplified into forces represented by PW1 and PW2. We also have a force here P which is acting at the top of the soil element and this can represent surcharge. Finally, we also have a force due to the weight of a soil element, represented by W here. Now we're also interested in 